dual color or multicolor filament. It's all the rage right now. But did you know you can make your own? We're going to show you how next on the corner. Hey everyone, it's me, Jeff. Welcome to my corner. This time around, we're going to look at some dual color filaments. Just by Googling, you can see there's a whole bunch of different places that sell these really cool filaments. These have been the rage for about a year or so now, and everyone's sort of playing around with them. I thought it would be interesting to have a look to see if we could make our own and then see how they would compare. So Turbo Sunshine put out this how-to about three years ago or so on Thingiverse, and he had the unique concept back then of printing your own multicolor filament. As you can see here, he's got quite a few little things. So I thought, why don't we try and play around with this a little bit? What he's done is if you look at the downloads, he's got a little tester and he's got some larger files. So I went in the Prusa Slicer using my Chiron for this because it has a large build plate. And I went with this 290 version of this, figuring that would give me enough filament to be able to get a couple models going. So what you're going to do is put this on your bed and slice it. Now it has quite a long time to slice because of its unique geometry. Once it's finished, you're going to split the model in half and do a color change. Once sliced, it's going to give you about 58 grams of filament. Now that we're done, we're off to the races. So I went off and I printed, and I printed quite a few of these. I actually did a couple of pink and greens, some green and orange, and a few silk prints as well. The silk ones seem to come out really shiny and good. I used silk green and silk blue, and I did learn and you'll see that in the future, that you want to have colors that are a little bit different on this color scale, so they get really good pop and stand out. As I'm winding it off the build plate, you can see here, you gotta be careful, because it might tangle a little bit, but just take your time, and it should work out. I really like the look of the different colors with the copper and the white, and I'm hoping for some really good results. Once I finished spooling it up, I wanted to do a quick measurement. And as you can see here on the pink and green, it's gonna measure about 1.74. It's square, not round. So what you'll have to do is go into your slicer and adjust your flow somewhat. I went for about 130 to 135. I found that worked well for me. So what we're gonna end up doing now is I'm gonna slice a spiral vase mode. And this is going to be my first test. I'm printing this one on my Prusa because one, it's direct drive, and two, I can adjust the flow in the printer settings so I can dial it in a little bit better. I've also done this though on a Bowden tube and I have had some really good results. Now, if you see the results, you can see the vase and how it ships from the green to the pink. I think this is a really interesting model and it looks really cool. I'll show you a couple photos, but you'll have to understand that in the video, it doesn't actually capture the look that I see with my eye. So I had a bit of this filament left over, so I decided to print this octopus. And as you can see, it has that really cool green with pink hue look to it. Then I went on to my green and orange. I hadn't dried my orange filament because I hadn't used it for a while. And as you can see, it's got quite a lot of stringing. Did print okay though, and I dried it out and I tried this Thinker model. If you look at this model a bit closer, you can see it kind of has a tiger stripe look to it. Again, another cool effect. Then I mixed a silk green and a blue, and I did this Deadpool. As you can see, it looks mostly green, but you do get the blue tint to it. Again though, those colors were really close, so it's really hard to tell. But you can see it a bit better in these photos that you can see the green with the blue tint, and it actually came out really good. And here's that copper vase I did at the very beginning. With the white and the copper, you can see highlights. What's my conclusion with this? Well, you get a bolder look if you use filaments that are higher in contrast to each other, but closer in contrast gives you those little hints and tinges of stuff, which is really nice as well. But I think the biggest challenge with using this technique 
is that you don't quite know what you're going to get. If you're going to get tiger stripe pattern or you're going to get the little hints and tinges of the colors as you can see by me doing this ghost print here. You're also going to have to try to use filaments that print well at the same temperature because, well, they're printing at the same time. You want to make sure your filaments dry as well. And possibly if you can make it go down into the extruder the same way and not twist, you might get a better result as well. I thought this was a fun little experiment to try. I encourage you guys to give it a shot and let me know down below what your results are. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're cruising through the channel, hit the subscribe button. And until next time, guys, keep on printing.